All right, so uh, our next tutorial is going to cover how to take those animations that we just added to our player sprite and connect them to motions in the game. So to do that, we're going to go to the event page. And just to show you again, um, right now, this is what our guy can do. Just moves back and forth. He changes directions that he's facing, which is nice. But other than that, it's not, not a whole lot. Okay. Also, it's kind of annoying actually that it's so far away this game. I mean, we can make well, we make more platforms, but right now, he's too far away from the screen or from our point of view. So let's actually change that. Uh, if you go to layout, you click on layout, um, and then look at the properties bar, you should find a uh, option here over here called project properties. You click on view, and down here in display, it'll say viewport size 4,000 by 2040, which it feels too big right now, so let's half that. We'll say 2000 by 1020. Okay. So now, if we hit play, you'll see our guys right here, and you can see a little more detail to him and things scroll and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Whoops. All right. Anyway, so that's our guy. So let's get him actually animated. Uh, we'll go back to the event sheet, and here we're going to add an event to the player box because remember this is the object that we've been moving actually and it, it's just the player object here that's connected to the player box that we see so the player box is the object that we want a condition for and we're going to say well, uh, when we move it uh, or here the condition is called on moved um, it's right here platform animation triggers on moved okay, we're going to click next and that's the condition so when we start moving in we want the idle to run animation to happen. Okay? And that's going to happen for this guy, right? Because the animations are connected to this object. So we'll click on the player object and then go to animations. You want set animation to occur. Okay, so set animation. Hit next. And the animation that we want is idle to run. Okay, and you will need quotes around that. All right, for it to show up. There we go. Set animation idle to run to play from the beginning. Uh, as I show you this next animation event added, you'll see there's an easier way to type in that animation name so we don't mess it up. Okay. So again, so now when the player box starts to move, the animation idle to run immediately starts. But once it runs out, because remember it was only like seven frames or so, uh, what's going to happen? Well, we want that animation idle to run to then go into the run animation and these are both on the player object so they don't actually utilize the player box object so we're just going to do player object and we're going to say on animation finished which is here animation on finished which animation when it finishes the idle to run animation. So see that? I just got rid of one double quote and then they bring me a list of all the animations that we have. Okay, so when the idle to run animation is finished, then the action that we want is the player object, again, he's going to run a different animation. So we'll say set animation again. So the animation that will then run is just the run animation. Okay, because the guy will hopefully still be moving. Oops. There we go. Hit OK. We're done. And there we go. Now we have our second animation event. Now, the third animation event that we're going to have right now is when we stop moving because we need to set that. Otherwise, run will just keep running and running. And he'll look like he's running even though he may not be moving. So, the player box. Uh, when it is stopped, that is the motion that we want. Let's see, animation trigger on stop. Here we go. Okay, then the action that we want is the player object will uh, set a different animation. Okay, so the animation here now that we will set once the guy stopped is actually back to idle. So I don't need to type that in. Okay, and there you go. So now he's back to idle and we can let's see make sure it's all right when it stops the animation at all starts okay great 
Uh, let's save this. And just to make sure, we'll hit play, see if this works properly. It starts running. He stopped. He goes back to idle. Looks pretty good so far. Yep. Yeah, all right. Now we still haven't done our jump animations yet. We'll do that in the very next uh, tutorial. So stick around.